Hey there, my friends. I hope you're doing well. Coach Kirsten here with Whole Life Freedom. I'm here today to share a little bit about part two for tapping into God's promises for health and physical healing. In the last video, part one, I talked about shifting our beliefs and how using EFT tapping and prayer can help shift our beliefs about our capacity for our physical healing in our body. Now our emotions, we know that our mind and our emotions affect the physical health of our body. And that's why we need a full person, whole person approach to helping our body to heal. A lot of times we don't realize that it could have been a trauma we experienced many years ago that's actually showing up in a shoulder or a migraine or a backache or many different other things. Now there's physical components to it as well, such as our nutrition, our sleep, our how we move our bodies. We can be out of alignment and all of that is a part of the bigger puzzle. But God has the Holy Spirit who he's given us and lives inside of us to actually explore these concepts. But with this one, what I want to talk about is simply the mind and body, heart and spiritual component that EFT tapping and prayer can help with our physical health and our physical healing in our body. So if you take a look at the beliefs you have and you start removing those beliefs, you know, Jesus said you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And a lot of times our beliefs hold us back from being able to move in and release that healing. Other things that can be done is releasing the stress and releasing the um, emotional challenges that have been stored up in our body. That can go on for a long time, but what I, you know, for example, we um, we often talk about how maybe anger can be stored in the liver, and if you do a liver cleanse, you might end up a little feeling a little anger and angsty. Um, you know, some people joke about that, but we do actually have emotions stored in our body. There are many good books on that. The body keeps the score. Feelings buried alive never die. There's a, a lot of books out there. People have really looked at this and studied it quite a bit now. But what I want to talk about is how we can connect with the Holy Spirit, how we can say, you know, Jesus died for every single cell in my body to be healed and free. But my body doesn't know that. <laughs> my spirit inside of me knows that. My brain knows it cognitively, but does the fight or flight part of me know that? Does the part of me that says, I'm on high alert because I had an experience 20 years ago, five days ago, 30 years ago, that tells me I need to be on high alert. My limbic system brain, my, my amygdala, my hippocampus are all connected to my nervous system and they're saying, I'm not safe. I'm not safe. I'm not safe. And why is it saying that you're not safe? You know, there might have been something that happened that's, that's talking about that. And so what we do with tapping is that we invite the Holy Spirit in. We know with our mind that Jesus conquered sickness and death on the cross for us. So we're not actually trying to achieve something that he didn't already achieve. But what we're doing is we're actually saying to our brain and to our body, you're safe, you're okay. And a lot of times what happens is that we have these experiences and maybe we go through healing in our mind, but we didn't release it out of our body. And so a neat way of doing that is utilizing tapping and beginning on the side of the hand. What you do is you start just describing the pain as though it's something a little bit outside of your body. So let's say that it's it's a head pain or it's it's in you can feel tension in your chest or you've got um, you know something going on in your back and and maybe it's something that's been there a while maybe it's only new and what you want to do is actually this is kind of fun it, you separate yourself from it a little bit just release some calm into your body by doing that and then connect with the presence of God within you. Just go, I'm receiving your peace, I'm receiving your connection. And then just begin to ask about that pain. You know, what does it look like? What does it feel like? If it had a voice, what would it say? Now, you might be thinking that's a little bit weird to say, okay, this pain in my back, if it had a voice, what would it say? But remember, if an emotion is stored in your body, that emotion is trying to say something. So let's just 
use this if we were just to separate from an emotion and you were to say, I, you know, I'm so angry. I don't know why I'm angry. You can also pause and say, what is that anger trying to say? And sometimes that anger is a five-year-old part of you that's trying to say something and say, I want to be heard. I need to be heard. Or it's also, it could be saying, I need to be safe. Or that time that that happened, I have not felt safe ever since then. I want to share a really powerful quote with you. This is by Gabor Mate. He says, if you don't know how to say no when you need to, your body will say it for you in the form of illness. Now, your body will say it for you in the form of many other things, dis-ease, pain, other challenges. So it's not always necessarily just illness. But for example, you know, let's let's take this example from my own life. You know, years ago I struggled financially and especially struggled in my mind about finances. And what would happen is and I didn't connect the dots until I started learning how to do inner healing and EFT. I realized, oh, when I'm stressed about finances, my back would go out because I would carry the weight of it in my back. And as I started understanding that, I could start healing the root of it. And so that's what we're talking about is healing the root of it. Sometimes you have to actually just simply tap on the pain first in order to be able to hear what the pain is trying to say. I hope this doesn't sound too off the wall for you, but if it does, great. Maybe that's a good sense to say, Holy Spirit, Jesus, I believe that you've got full healing for me and I'm willing to listen. And so what do we do? Let's just, last time on the last video, we talked about our beliefs, about physical healing and the areas of our beliefs. This time we're looking at what's happening in your body and what's your body trying to say. So you go, even though I have this pain in my body, maybe you want to measure it out first. It's of a level eight out of 10 and it feels like a rock in my chest and it feels like it's keeping me from breathing properly. I deeply love and accept myself. And we do the setup statement three times, even though I've got this pain in my body and it feels like this. I choose to trust that my healing is taken care of in Jesus and I'm open to listening to what my body has to say. Even though I've got this pain in my body and it looks like a big black blob, I am safe right here and right now. So what we did there, right there, we just set up some statements of being loving and accepting yourself, even in the pain, being safe. And we also connected to Jesus and to his power. And then we tap on all the components of the physical nature of the pain. And if you have pictures of it or sensations of it, or you have just comments about it, you can tap through the points. So eyebrows, this pain in my body, this pain in my body, it's been here for so long. It looks like a big, heavy rock in my chest. Use your language. This pain in my body, it's so much for me to handle. This pain in my body, I wonder what it's trying to say. And use your language. Don't just say this pain in my body. Say this ache in my back, this sharpness in my shoulder, this pain in my head. It's holding on to so much. Do the first round, just simply focusing on the components of the pain. Separate yourself from it a little bit and just talk about it and tap on it. Check in, sometimes you'll notice it might move, it might adjust, and then you just wanna tap again and just ask it. So I was using this pain that could rock in my chest. Maybe that's for someone listening today but use it to your own language. Then just ask it, what are you trying to say right now? Holy Spirit, I invite your presence and I thank you that you're with me and you dwell inside of me. As I ask my body what it's trying to say, would you highlight to me and help me to hear? And just listen, what's it trying to say? Just tap while you do. Okay, and if something came up for you, amazing, then I want you to tap on that with prayer. God, I thank you for what this is trying to say. I'm listening. 
I'm listening to what it's saying. I hear you. I'm going to listen this time around. Is there anything else you would like to share with me? Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. And just, I want you to respond to it. Whatever it's saying or sharing with you, listen to that part of the pain and go, okay, this pain in my chest, I'm listening. I'm sorry you've been carrying so much for so long. Can you release it? And this is what I love to do is bringing it in. Jesus absorbed all of that on the cross, right? But we have to be able to listen, you know, just like a child who is is throwing a tantrum and the, the what is the child looking for? The child is looking for something to be given, okay? And so they're not trying to say, you know, da, 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 da. they're not doing that just, just to get attention. Sometimes they do, but you know, but what they're looking for is saying, will you see me? Will you hear me? That pain in your body is saying, do you hear me? Something is wrong. And it could be something natural. It could be something that is emotional. So this case, we're going, I'm listening to you. What are you trying to say? It could, it could be saying, I need more water. I need more sleep. And would, are you willing to listen to it? Because it's not always just about saying, Jesus, would you take it away from me? It's also saying, are you listening? Are you listening to what your body is trying to say to you? Um, yes, he can take it away, but if you're not being a good steward or if it's something emotional that your mind is saying, I need healing in this area, I need to release it, then you want to actually do that. And you can invite Jesus into the process. And it's, it's really good to do this with a practitioner, but an example of doing this on your own would say, Jesus, okay, I am listening now to my body in a way I haven't before. Would you come in to that moment and help me to listen well? Would you help me to respond well? And then tap through that process. Okay, now that I've heard that I need this, what are any blocks that I have? Um, is there anything else that my body needs to let go of, to release? Is there anyone I need to forgive, maybe? And, and go through that process. What does listening to it need? And lastly, you can ask the question, what age is speaking up? Is it something that was a few years ago, a few days ago, or many years ago? And asking that question allows it to, allows it to say, you know what? This pain has been there and it's speaking up. It's been there since, you know, I was five. And it's finally coming out in a way in my body, trying to get my attention so that I will actually heal that moment and heal that five-year-old. So will you listen? Will you hear what your body is trying to say? Invite the Holy Spirit in. Jesus paid for it all, but he also wants you to be a whole person, complete and healed. Okay, so the process, again, is tap first on the physical components of the pain. Or if we're starting from the last video, tap on the beliefs that you have, release any limiting beliefs you have, then tap on the negative components of the pain. What does it look like, feel like, where is it? All of that, just remain in the tapping component of that. Tap through it. That's what we mean when we say tap on it, is tap through that pain and that process. Then take a moment, listen. What's my body trying to say? Can you listen? Can you have compassion? Can you respond to it in a way that it might hear? I've seen a lot of people in that moment of listening, suddenly that pain after tapping on it is released because they were able to hear what it was trying to say. A lot of times when we're in physical pain, we just go, ah, we get mad, we get frustrated, we get sad, we get down, we, we don't listen. Oh, why is it in pain? Why am I in pain? Why is my body doing that? Have compassion, listen. Then give that area over to Jesus and then ask if it's still there. You can ask, what age is speaking up right now? When is that kind of coming to fruition? What is trying to speak? When is that? And then can you bring some healing and bring Jesus into that moment in that time period? Does your five-year-old need some healing? Does your 30-year-old, uh, your 50-year-old, does, does it need healing? Um, and bring his presence, bring his healing into that moment and allow that then to be released from your body 
through prayer and tapping. Really powerful. Um, I've seen a lot of physical components shift for people in doing these processes. And it's so profound because you get a full picture healing. It's not just snap and the pain is gone, but now those emotional and mental components that were creating the pain are now gone as well. It's the healing and wholeness that Jesus has for you, my friend. Okay, I hope that you're blessed and I pray that God does mighty miracles in and through you in Jesus' mighty name.